William Knight versus Daun Jung. That was a good fight, but it, uh, William Knight came in as big. He was freaking huge, yo. He was he was huge for that was a light heavyweight division. The high contrast between those two was just freaking. Uh, it was huge. Like uh, Jung was just a freaking huge. He was taller. He was like lanky but taller. And William Knight was just this little short, stocky guy that just had muscles for days. And he was exhausted. William Knight. With all those big muscles, you need a lot of freaking energy. A lot of, um, I forgot what, but your muscles get tired out fast if they're huge. Like William Knight's was. Okay, so, um, that's it. Just... If you have huge muscles, you're going to burn out faster, so you got to knock him out, but he did not do that. Zhang used his wrestling, brought down William Knight, and Wong won that fight easily. Just brought him down, no problem. Bang. And William Knight was just off with his striking. His striking was just... Those leg kicks at the very beginning was the step in the right direction, but then he just got tired out. He should have just went straight for the knockout because he got exhausted by second and third round, and... Easy win for Zhang. That's it. Big muscles equals big rewards, but an even bigger risk is that you lose energy, you get exhausted with those big muscles, and this is what happened. So I think, as I said, that was a light heavyweight division. I think William Knight should go down to middleweight, and I think he'll be better at that weight division.